Hey, good morning. I've got a brand new antenna. It's a double bazooka. And I just ran a SWR graft on it. And I gotta tell you, I'm pretty impressed. Especially with 40 meters. I'll show you how to do that on the ICOM 7300. And if you don't have a 7300, this uh, double bazooka is pretty impressive. You might want to take a look at it. Okay, first things first. The antenna is an Ultimax 80 and 40 meter double bazooka. And you can find it on their website, Ultimax Antennas. I'll put a link below. I don't have any affiliation with them. But I've been using it a few days and I'm really impressed with it. Just this morning I ran an SWR graph. And man, I'm even more impressed. Uh, if you got the ICOM 7300, I've got a video out there on exactly how to do the SWR graph, and I'll put that link below. But I'll show you real quick. If uh, you hit the menu button on your 7300 and go up to SWR, you'll see that the SWR graph pops up. I've already got it set up. I've got it, the steps at 10K and uh, the bars at 13 and I'm right in the middle of where it's resonant on 80 meters. So I'm just going to go ahead and run it. I've got uh, my auto tuner and bypass. So uh, we're going straight through the antenna. And I didn't put the antenna up exactly the way that they said. I didn't have the room for it. I've got the, the, the center up 20 feet. And then the ends are up approximately about 11 feet off the ground. So uh, not ideal. Uh, the the antenna is 103 feet long. So you know not ideal, but it's only it's what I could do. Let's do the SWR graph. I'm on 80 meters right now, and I'll hit the little record button there. I've got uh, the the mode set on ready, and I'm using uh, 10 watts. So let's go ahead and go across. I'm just pushing down on my foot switch to key the radio. And boy, that's pretty good. It is resonant right at 3645. And on the website, they say around 3700, so I'm not far off. That's pretty good. Now, the nets that I get on are around 3800, 3900. But I can use my auto tuner. I've got a LDG. AT600 Pro 2 Auto Tuner, and it tunes this antenna up real nice. I've been using it on 3973, the Breakfast Club, and I think that everybody has been able to hear me that has been on there the last couple of mornings. Now, uh, the band hasn't been in the best condition, and signals are pretty weak, but I'm pulling people out that I don't think I'd be able to pull out using my old inverted V. Okay, let's uh, go over to the 40 meters. And I've already got it set up. Same deal. Let me show you. I'm on 10 watts right now. Don't want to cause any interference. So uh, let's go ahead and run it across uh, the 40 meter band. Watch this. Yep, I'm keying it. And look, I thought something was wrong the first time I did it. It is flat right across there from 7100 to 7220. 7, I'm going to change the uh, uh, bars here. Uh, let me see. Hit the wrong one. Yeah, let me go back to 5 bars and 50k. Hit the play button again, and you'll see that there's nothing wrong. This antenna is just pretty doggone resonant across the 40 meter band. Alright, that's it for this video. I don't have any affiliation with Ultimax antennas, but I'm pretty impressed with their uh, double bazooka. Good price, good build quality, and I've been using it the last few days. 
with FT8 and on the net in the morning on 3973 and uh, I'm pretty impressed with it I like it it works very well okay if you like this video please give me a thumbs up please remember to subscribe to my channel thanks for watching have a great day 73 and good DS